ready to vote for democracy and for America? Yeah. Let me ask you, are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walz? Why hasn't Harris granted a sit-down interview yet? These are the words echoing in America right now. There's been a lot of questions about when you're going to sit down for your first interview since being the nominee. I've, I've talked that? to my team. I want us to get an interview scheduled before the end of the month. Kamala Harris has carved a powerful path across the political landscape, rallying crowds, stirring emotions, and pushing the Democratic Party to rediscover its pulse she has managed to do all of this while keeping the media at bay. As she runs for the presidential race, perhaps the most powerful perch in the world, many argue she owes it to every US citizen to be frank and forthcoming about the kind of president she intends to be. Her indulgence in media silence has raised eyebrows and sparked rising criticism amongst journalists and political commentators. Now, as Harris gets ready to step onto the DNC stage to deliver a speech on August 22nd, all eyes will be on her. The pressure is immense, but the opportunity is even greater. The question is, will her strategy of media silence pay off in the long run? Or will this speech be the moment where she finally breaks her media silence? Kamala Harris's campaign has been a study in contrast. While her public appearances have been full of energy and emotion, she has largely avoided direct engagement with the media, especially in the form of sit-down interviews. There are now reports that suggest that this calculated silence has kept her free from the pitfalls of tough interviews and spontaneous questions. In a political landscape dominated by constant visibility, Harris's decision to stay out of the press has become a point of contention. Conservative outlets have been quick to seize on her absence, comparing it unfavorably to Donald Trump's relentless media presence. Trump's strategy has been to dominate the airwaves, whether through rambling press conferences or long conversations with high-profile figures like Elon Musk. By remaining silent, Harris has allowed her critics to shape the narrative. Questions remain about her media silence, as the days pass, the pressure to address the growing questions about her policies and her platform continues to mount. Behind the scenes, Harris has been meticulously preparing for her DNC speech, a pivotal moment that will define the next phase of her campaign. In the lead up to August 22nd, she and her closest advisors have worked tirelessly honing every word, every gesture. The speech isn't just about policy, it's about reintroducing herself to the American public in a way that resonates on a deeply personal level. Several reports suggest that her speech could revolve around her upbringing, her career as a prosecutor has been carefully woven into her political persona. Here it is important to note that this is not just another campaign speech. This is Harris's chance to consolidate her position as the front runner to connect with voters who may still feel uncertain about her and to define herself on her own terms before her opponents can do it for her. As the world watches, Kamala Harris knows that her DNC speech will set the tone for the final stretch of the campaign. Every word, every pause will be scrutinized. Can she maintain her strategic silence and still resonate with voters? Or will this be the moment where she finally addresses the many questions that have followed her in recent weeks? With less than three months until election day, the stakes have never been higher. Harris's speech on August 22nd is more than just a performance. It's a turning point, the moment where her strategy of silence will either pay off or falter under the weight of expectation.